And welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Last we left off, we finished up with Rouge and Blaze with a little heist of the fabricated shell egg and revealed a beautiful, really nice looking and jewel encrusted chow charm. Now we find ourselves here at the lounge car with Amy and Shadow. <laughs> Shadow looking very annoyed with Amy. Me for having a little argument and talking over him. So let's, let's get to it. With the first person in front of us right now, Amy Rose. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a bit light on this whole case. Sharing is caring! No way! I'm journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. Were you ready to challenge Shadow? Talk to him? Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll load you to it. Hmm. Be an interrogator, but not right now. So close to getting the scoop of the century, I can feel it! Hmm. A printer in front of us. It's a giant, yeah, giant replica of the master emerald right there. See the printer? Here, swoop to the computer. Can I print something? Hmm. Sonic singing a song because he's more of a singing guy. Uh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky. Yeah, the inter interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stoop me. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be the conductor's avatar from Sonic Forces, or whoever the conductor is supposed to be. Or whoever this the developer's ch uh, <laughs> chow. avatar is from Sonic Forces. Nice, nice. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Oh. Oh! It's my rolling boat. Let's see this one. Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. It's really that complicated? Have you had a printer work when you wanted it to? Fair enough. <laughs> that is awesome! And there! Work like a charm. Here you go! Yeah, this is... Okay, same thing. <laughs> that is awesome. Nice little art there. Hmm, I see keys. Hmm! A key ring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. We'll just take it that now. Mm, the computer, yes. They tell us about this in my interview. Well, there's a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. It's a shame to be on the computer and missing those these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Give that note. A trash bin! Tails? No. <laughs> I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Swift, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Swift? There's always something in the trash bin! <sighs> Alright. Let's, let's check the trash bin. Huh? What's this? Aha! Ha 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 ha! Aha! Bingo! Someone printed out the page of the ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Honey's one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory! Are we sure this isn't just trash? Don't let you have this! It's always success if you check the trash bin! Crumb of paper is added to your inventory. FINALLY SOMETHING OUT OF THE TRASH! Hmm... Let's check this view. Wow, tell us you have to check this out! Oh, of course, Big! Big has to be somewhere! We found him randomly inside Frontiers in the portal, and he has to be has to be right here fishing on a little small little island by the beach. 
These windows are huge! What a view! I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast! Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. This train wasn't so oh, nice to be on, I agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. <laughs> gotcha. I thought I just thought the same thing. Got the doorway here. So they can't move on until we take a shadow. Oh yeah, guess we can be ahead myself. Guess you were. Oof, better get back to the investigation. Hmm, let's check out this. So, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you could you should do it. Alright. Alright. Watch a pro. <laughs> All this dust! You opened the door too fast! It blew everywhere! <laughs> Uh, ooh, look at this. Hmm? Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Swift! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe open, and there's a door! There's a pull, there's a full passway, but, passway, what? <laughs> there's a full passageway in back here. Come on, we gotta see where this leads. He's curious, this must mean something big. The library car? This is the library! There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library! I don't believe it. Shh! Quick! Back through the passage before they spot us! Oh yeah! Right there, Nesby are still here. We need to add that to our inventory! <laughs> Hidden passages added to your inventory! I thought we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. We haven't got everything. It's a nerve robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no. I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you give me a high five? Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Hmm. The chow band. Hey, it's a big chow band. Give us a jam! Huh, nice! That was spiritual! I feel reawakened. Can you actually get another one? Yes, we can! Play us a ditty! They don't miss! Those should understand music! <laughs> they definitely do. Hmm. Or something big, Chow Band! Okay. Is there anything else? We can target Amy again, I mean, funnily. Hmm. Well, let's actually talk to her. Can I take your order? I don't want a single thing into it until we get birthday cake. <coughs> cake first, and after. Otherwise, I'll get a full on dinner and I can't have any cake. Your priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. Really? There's nothing else? Presenting Big Chow Band! <laughs> hmm. I think it would, you would think this would be interactive, but no. The You would think the replica master will be interactive. Okay, I guess we can just talk to Shadow then. Why did you come over here? <laughs> There's nothing I can help either of you. Ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. No, maybe we'll get out of here. Actually, so we certainly will not. Oh, right. Can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip up. I'll whip that up. That right up. A coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. Took every muscle in his body to agree with the tails. Okay, well, let's do it. 
Let's interrogate Shadow. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on the train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train in. Now you know why. Well, uh, maybe not so <laughs> What way to cut in? Uh, uh, pray tell. Why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> that would be my hot tip. Oh, everyone's ready for a scoop round by yours truly. You're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sai was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Huh? So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Hmm. Preconjuncture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my sores can back these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the points are stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. What sound? What shadow? Trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of thought logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Swift and I can explain the car change, however. Hmm? Swift, what happens if we have that show Sonic could have gone to the dining car? Could have gone to the dining car, huh? Yeah. Okay, just get my thoughts on her. Let's do it! Okay. Ooh, look at Shadow's stage. Whee! Rings. Are you shooting Chaos Spears at me, Shadow? Of course, this man will be shooting Chaos Spears. Ugh. Man, chill! Ah, give me that idea! So then I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone then could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, and walked past the distracted boys playing the playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. <laughs> and safely arrived at the dining car. I'm speaking way too fast. Excellent work, Swift. Hmm. This is just my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonny in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic and locked the door to the conductor car on the way out and dropped the body off at the dining car. Huh? Are you officially officially accusing accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course it's just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha, huh, seems Sonic and I are more thorough than you. If, Shadow not, if Shadow's not going to talk, I'll humor you, how, ew, I'll humor you once again. Apologies for my English, apparently. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. So, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because Espio was reading. I believe SP was behind a bookshelf at a, t at a table reading. Hmm? As you're reading in the library, checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for SPO, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently 
You're my number. You're currently my number one suspect. Why are we? You even searching for Aspio, huh? <sighs> if you must know, I need to give him a key. As if. Why would you? Relax by giving away his keys. Chad's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been uh, able to unlock the, the next doors for us. I didn't know that. Chad's been passing out keys. Perhaps. So if I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do that? So if what evidence does support Shadow's claim that he was giving away keys away? It's good, now to get my thoughts on her. Oh boy, here we go. We'll see how the tough Shadow stages can really get. Oh wow, it's getting intense. But we made it through easily. 72 rings, wow! There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espion and Vector. No way! Well, what of his own key? Couldn't, couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So, actually, so let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Hmm. She's right. There he is strong. Tells him I certainly haven't impressed on any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Swift and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep putting including me too? First, Amy, I just have a question one question for you. Hmm? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Almost everyone. Yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Mm -hmm. Just um Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just let me here's enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Swift. Uh, yes, Tails? I have a three, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. You know Shadow walked through every train, car, locking the exits, and he gave every one station in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the doctor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow couldn't find us, Shadow wanted to keep us away. We were locked in a in a um, closet, but hmm, because we were barricaded. But no, Shadow never never went there. Hmm, because he didn't see the door. Because he never locked the door. It was barricaded. Shadow wanted to keep us out, keep us out or away. Was Shadow locking the doors to keep us away? Not us, Swift. I'm making a I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Shadow can never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? I. Uh, how dare! Swift, show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough, or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want you need to know? That crumpled paper. Oh, I forgot to actually read the description there. Shadow's keeping with two dangling keys. I always thought a locksmith would have more keys than that. Huh. Putting string in the wardrobe revealed a hidden passage. Upon inspection, it leads from the li lounge to the library. Crumpled paper. Ball of paper found in the trash. Found in the trash bin. I kind of want to see what it is. This one. That feels right. Phew. Just to organize, organize my thoughts. Let's do it. This one's gonna be tough. The final one. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, okay. So did a okay, it's pretty bad. It's getting chaotic. 
Woo! I miss all those rings. Whoa! Made it anyway! 74! I don't want to get 75. You went rooting through the trash? You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's a band. It's a band's ticket website. Tails don't. Oh, look at Shadow now. <gasps> ah, this is hot. What? This is hot, honey's website. No way, I love them. Oh, my voice. Jeez. Hold on. I need a drink. There we go. My voice is better. I got a drink. Uh, hot honey? It's man I'm currently obsessed with! Jeremy P! It's Jeremy P is... Uh, my current favorite! All the members have B after their name? Yes! <laughs> is it cute? I haven't gone into any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online in a specific time and they, and they sail out in minutes. Sail out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured this thing out so soon, but I see where he's heading. Print out the Honey Hot Band... Hot, I said the reverse. Hot Honey's Band ticket website exists because... Shadow is a big hot fan. That would be freaking amusing. That would be amusing to say. Shadow is buying tickets for Amy! <gasps> what? Shadow? Is this true? Are you trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? <sighs> I've done a poor job of hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes. Trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Huh! Shadow! I used to print her earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging on the website, did you print the homepage accident by accident? Who oh, the. Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not, fanta I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. That's surprising considering Shadow's an, ag an agent. Uh, teams up with Rouge. Regularly, since Rouge is a government agent. I can't believe this. After I accuse you after I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the back! I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Word for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live, and I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't exactly on sale, I realized, but will be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew how to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I lent, handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to, managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. The birthday key! This key opens any opens any door on the train. I've gone through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shall I? You're just so sweet and after I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up, up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late! It's happening! Eee! I can't wait! Eight! The show of a lifetime! <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. 
The other murder story of Shadow's locked door has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all. Leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain! Amy, I'm curious. Who was the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Huh? But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Swift, I hate to say it, but I, be I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We've been down. We've both pinned down Sock's murderer for good. Right on then, let's do it. And we're done here. I cannot E for the life of me. <laughs> I cannot do a female's voice. When it comes to squealing and stuff. Anyway. I think that was quite the investigation. I think that's enough for now. Next time, we're going. We're heading straight for the conductor's car and finally bringing an end to this mystery. Hope you all enjoyed, and I see you all next time. Peace.